Good evening, and thank you for joining us again for another episode of Live at Five. I'm Haley Gordon. And I'm Kelsey Rushing. Raider football is in action tonight on the road in SAC conference play as they take on Jatbert High School. Kickoff is slated for 7 p.m. And congratulations to the JV football team, still undefeated on the season after defeating Jack Britt, who came into the game undefeated themselves, 28-7. The JV Raiders are now 6-0 on the season. So let's wrap up your work week with your news from Richmond County. Now for tonight's top story. Buckingham native Wayne O. Butch Fair III has been named the director of the Small Business Center at Richmond Community College. Fair has more than 30 years of management experience in the banking and financial industry. He was one of the founders of the Longleaf Community Bank in Rockingham, which formed in 2002 and was sold to Forex Bank in 2008. Quote, I want the people in our region to have the ability to improve and grow their businesses through the vast resources made available through the Small Business Center. Farrah also quoted by saying, I believe the future of the new job opportunities and economic growth in our area is largely dependent on the strong core of locally owned and operated companies, end quote. Farrah will also be working with people interested in the starting of new businesses. To contact the Small Business Center, call Farrah at 910-410-1687. And more information about Richmond Community College, visit richmondcc.edu. The Richmond County Chamber of Commerce will present their third annual Hottoberfest North Carolina Craft Beer and Chicken Wing Festival event tomorrow at Richmond Plaza, and the event will run from 4 to 7 p.m. Tickets have been sold out to the event for weeks now, and the Chamber of Commerce credits all of its sponsors, particularly Tri-City Incorporated, for their efforts at making this event a tremendous success. And of course, Saturdays in the fall are busy in Richmond County, as the VFW Post 4203 and Habitat for Humanity yard sale we covered earlier in the week will also be held tomorrow from 7 a.m. till 12 noon at the VFW at 106 Old River Road in Rockingham. The East Rockingham Fire Department was dispatched at 3.15 p.m. Thursday afternoon to a single vehicle accident on Hatcher Road, midway between Airport Road and Batley Dairy Road. It was determined by the fire department personnel that there was only one person in the white sedan, which was the driver of the vehicle. According to the driver, an animal crossed in front of him and upon swerving to miss it, collided with a tree. The driver was transported to the local hospital by an ambulance complaining of chest pains. There were no further updates on the driver's condition at the time of this publication. Joining East Rockingham Fire Department on scene were First Health Richmond EMS and North Carolina Highway Patrol. The accident is still currently being investigated by the North Carolina Highway Patrol. The Richmond Senior High School Marching Band is daring those brave enough to attempt to outrun tricks and treats of Halloween in its zombie 5K run. Set at Henson Lake on Wednesday, October 25th, interested runners may begin registering at 4.30 p.m. The official race is slated to start at 5.30 p.m. Racers will be divided into four different age groups, all of which will have a recognized male and female winner. Their are, ranges are 50 and older, male and female, 18 to 49, male and female, 13 to 17, male and female, and 12 and under. For participants not wanting to complete the loop around the lake, there will also be a candy run and fall festival. Custom contests will be available, and they don't have to be zombie-themed in order to participate. Costumes will be judged in the categories of couples, under 12, male and female, 13 through 17, male and female, adult costume, and pet costume. Cost for the 5K is $15 pre-registered and $20 on the day of the race. You know, I'm really excited about all these really amazing fall events we're having. There's so much so go stuff going on for our community. I know, especially October is a month. I love October. Anything that has anything to do with it, it's one of my favorite months, and I'm excited for all of these events. I really am. I know, and the zombie run. Yes, I remember doing it in high school, and that was fun. That was always fun. Yes, I think it's going to be great. So get out there and support these events, Richmond County. And now a word from our sponsors. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. 
At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College, local college, big impact. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is a specialty retail store in downtown Rockingham, in the heart of Richmond County. We are all about rustic, farm-style, home decor and gifts. We offer a variety of antique, vintage, and new items. We love helping you make your house a home with unique, one-of-a-kind finds. We also have specialty gifts for all occasions. I'm Erin McNair, and on behalf of the entire McNair family, we'd like to invite you to the grand opening of the new McNair Auto Sales location, Saturday, September 30th from 11 to 2. At our new location, 1026 East Broad Avenue, we look forward to serve you with greater selection, better facility, with the same reliable and friendly staff you have grown to know and trust. With over 40 years of experience, you know when it comes to buying your van, truck, or car, McNair is the name you can trust. Papa, Phil, Carrie, Ryan, Trey, Kristen, and the whole McNair family look forward to seeing you as we celebrate the grand opening of our new location, Saturday, September 30th from 11 to 2. We'll see you there. I'm Kelly, I worked at Champion Ford for two years. Six years. Three years. One year. I've been at Champion Ford for 13 years. One whole year. 15 years. I'm Jamie, I've been at Champion Ford for 12 years. I've been here eight years. Champion prices, champion service, champion experience. It treat you like a champion today at Champion Ford. Just down the road from high prices, championfordlincoln.com. We are Champion, champion Ford. Ford. Family Pharmacy has been serving Richmond County since April 2007, and we have enjoyed getting to know our customers since then. We take our jobs very seriously, and we'll do whatever we can to make sure you have what you need. Come visit us on Fayetteville Road in Rockingham, and we will treat you like family. Welcome back to Live at Five, and now for tonight's top sports stories. As the inaugural SAC volleyball season draws to a close, the Richmond Senior High School Lady Raiders varsity team notched itself as the 2017 regular season champions. Finishing the week with three wins in as many nights, the Lady Raiders clinched the championship win as they continued their historic winning streak on the road at SAC opponent Lumberton High School. Richmond won in four sets, winning the first two 25-14 and 25-18. It dropped the third set 20-25 and capped off the Lady Pirates 25-18 in the fourth game. In junior varsity play, Richmond proved 17-3 on the year as the Lady Raiders held off the Lady Pirates in three sets, 25-13, 23-25, and 25-12. Now the varsity Lady Raiders are now just two matches away from finishing the season in an unprecedented 22-0. 
They'll wrap up the regular season play next week, traveling Tuesday to 71st High School at 6 p.m. and hosting Scotland High School Thursday for senior night. Both matches start with University at 5 p.m. and Varsity following at 6 p.m. Finishing the week 1-0 is the message in the Richmond Senior High School Raiders varsity football team's locker room heading into the week 7. This week, head coach Brian Teal is expecting his team to remain perfect in SAC play as they'll hit the road for the first time in over a month and visit Jack Burt High School with a kickoff slated for 7 p.m. To read the entire preview story for this week's game against Jack Britt, visit richmondobserver.com. Today's three-day weather forecast is brought to you by First Health Moore Regional Hospital of Rockingham. Saturday will be a high 84 degrees with rain showers in the morning with numerous thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. That evening will be a low of 72 degrees with early showers and possible thunder. Sunday will have a high of 83 degrees with the scattered thunderstorms in the morning and afternoon. That night will have a low of 72 degrees with cloudy skies. Monday will have a high 85 degrees with morning showers and a cloudy afternoon. That night will have a low of 71 degrees with the rain in the evening and scattered thunderstorms in overnight. Ladies Day Out is coming to the Cole Auditorium in Hamlet on October 14th, and it promises to be a great event, especially for the ladies. You can see the ad on richmondobserver.com and on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And be sure to remember to join us for our grand opening and ribbon cutting event on October 12th at 4.30 p.m. at our offices and studios at 505 Rockingham Road in Rockingham. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you Monday night for another edition of Live at 5. So long.